Hey guys, I'm Karen. And I'm Nick. And we're Nerd Parade. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the new Play Arts Kai variant Venom figure from Spider-Man. Okay guys, here we have Venom out of his box. With his accessories, he's got three web-style symbiotic hand parts. Uh, two of them are just closed fists. He's got his alternate head. And as you can see here, he stands about 10.5 inches tall. Now let's take a closer look at his cool stuff. Alright, the first part we're going to talk about is his alternate head, which I really like. I think I'll be using this head for him. He's got his tongue out, rotated over here to the side. I mean, I really like this one. This is definitely the traditional Venom, like, crazy tongue pose. Uh, the colors on this are the variant colors, which... For this one, they have a lot of silvers and blacks, but there's purple. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very, like, light green, almost tealish color on his uh, on his face there. It's looking pretty good. It's definitely not the black and silver that we're used to with Venom, but I like this variant. All right, here is one of his symbiotic web blast kind of hand action uh, pieces. The teal is right across the center here, black on here, purple and silver with teal on the part of his glove. And then there's the other side. You can kind of see the teal on his hand a little bit. We'll pull off one of the other symbiotic pieces. It's kind of the same thing. Teal's mixed in with the black, purple, and silver on the back of the hand. And very cool. I like these. These are these are pretty cool. I'll definitely probably be using one of these to, to display him. Same thing with this one. It's just the different type of variation of the uh, the way the symbiotic web stuff is coming off his hand. Okay, we'll show you the closed fist ones here real quick. These are just, you know, your standard closed fists. And there, there you have it. That's pretty much all the accessories that Venom comes with. All right, guys, we put on his alternate head, which I seem to favor. And we noticed while we were doing it that his jaw has a little bit of move in it. So you can mm -hmm. actually, like, open his mouth up or keep it kind of closed. Not too much move, but it was an interesting discovery. Put on his little cool symbiote blast hand. Uh, the only thing, I'm going to talk about the one drawback that I don't like on this figure first, because everything else I pretty much do like. It's the same thing that they put on the Spider-Man figure. This weird rubbery, like, armor stuff that stands, it kind of stands out. It doesn't fit flush with the character. I know that's going to be hard to do, but it's just kind of overpronounced. So you really, whenever you try to, like, mess with it, it kind of it just makes a weird, creaky sound and... Like it just doesn't come out looking very well. Like you can't, it doesn't really cover the figure. It's, it's my only complaint about this. You, you see a big space around the arm where the shoulder's at. It just doesn't fit flush. That's the only drawback about this figure that I'm seeing so far. Otherwise, I really like the colors. I like the teal incorporation. I like the purple, silver. Everything looks really cool. I mean, they didn't. They stayed pretty much faithful to the Venom model. They didn't change much. But the uh, other than the colors, so I like it. I like this kind of recoloration. I'll show you guys the back here real quick. The back looks pretty good. You can't really tell with the uh, the rubbery part on the back. You get the symbol, which is standing out very nicely. All the joints are very good, of course. You know they're very crisp, and you can hear them creak as I as I <laughs> as I kind of put them in place. It's got the little joints here on the feet, the, for the toes as well. You know I. Uh, I think this is a good figure. I wasn't a huge fan of the Spider-Man. I thought that too much was, was changed, but the Venom I like. I do like the Venom quite a bit. All right, I figured out the pose that I'm gonna display this guy in. We've got his two, uh, his two matching symbiote hands equipped on him with his tongue pose, and we've got him kind of standing on his own. They all come with a base, all the Play Arts figures come with a base. I just like to see them stand on their own and I always try to make them stand on their own because I think they look better without the base. In this pose, the uh, the chest piece is not super over pronounced. I could never seem to find a good pose with the Spider-Man figure where it wasn't kind of showing. In this pose, it doesn't look actually too bad. So I believe they are improving on the uh, rubbery chest piece idea. I just don't think that it's mastered quite yet. But I hope you guys like the figure. I like him. I think I'm going to display him just like this. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I hope this helps with your decision on whether or not you'd like to get the figure. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page if you haven't already. You guys stay awesome and take care. Bye-bye.